there's two curbs left, man. Yeah, I know. Nine and ten. Larry said he's not sentimental about it. Are you? Are not you, at all. Not at all? Zero. Why? And by the way, that's I'm a sentimental guy. I know. That's why I'm and, asking. Uh, Larry is not a sentimental <laughs> guy. <laughs> that's why I'm asking. Uh, although he, he has more than he lets you know. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, I am really happy it's over. Not ca- I, There was only joy for me. Joy and a gift of doing something uh, that's designed for my skills. I feel like I'm Liam Neeson. I've got a certain set of skills, and that's Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I'm the only other person besides Larry who has been there from the very first moment the show was conceived. First moment. The moment, he and I. That's it. There's no one else. And then a little while later, his assistant, Laura Laura Stryker, who yes. used to be Laura Fairchild, she um, was his assistant, mm-hmm. and she was there at the beginning, and she's one of the uh, producers, producers, and she was great. She's a great producer and a great woman. But it's really the three of us, and then everyone else at different, you know, I was there for, for Cheryl's audition. Mm-hmm. I was in the in the room watching her audition, and then I was there for JB's. I mean, I, oh. I have been there through all of this how did that and first... i am not sentimental at all how, i mean first of all i can't understand that but I, I get it but um although i just con- contradicted myself how did you first get connected with with ld on this oh, subject he, well, he and i were acquaintances from stand-up and uh i had filmed i had directed dennis leary and john stewart's off camera their their uh, uh um uh their hbo specials okay okay and when I was working with Dennis, mm-hmm. who described me as his Danny Murtaugh. Okay. Okay. That was, sure. I was a manager of it. But what I thought was, what would be a great, a great special would be about a guy making a special, and you see what goes into making a special, and then at the end, he doesn't really have to do the special, so the special is the making of the special. <laughs> I told the right guy. And there we go. Yeah, I told the right guy. And by the way, it, when you tell a genius, oh, things happen. Oh, things happen. I told a genius, and it's been, I mean, the journey. I, I'm so grateful. That's a, like I'm singing uh, 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 the seventh inning stretch in Chicago mm-hmm. uh, on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth. Uh-huh. And um, oh, Tani will be there. Uh, on the fifth, we, we bet that I wasn't going to show. No, nice. no. Yes, by girl, the way, I that's love the comedian. That's the comedian. Oh, don't don't do that. that was, <laughs> it was a lame joke, but I didn't need help with how lame it was. Anyone who's listening or watching, going, that was a lame joke. Oh, I acknowledge. I did tip of the hat, sir. But holy crap, you didn't have to make it worse. <laughs> I'm having a nice conversation with you about Curb. Yes. I'm giving information that usually doesn't come out. I know me. that. That's which I which I am enjoying. But I so will keep, say this. Yes. I was, you know, I generally, I don't sit in editing with Larry. It's been since the beginning is the last time I did. I don't sit in editing with him. Right. Jeff Schaefer yes. is there for all of editing, and they do a great job. But I get cuts, and I give any notes. The least amount of notes this season than ever before. Uh, and um, so I've watched one through eight. I didn't want to watch nine or ten. Mm-hmm. I had them. I have them. You know, I, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to watch them. Two reasons. The same reason I've never seen Babylon, but a little bit different. I'm in the movie Babylon. I know I'm going to hate my performance. Mm. So w- the movie will either suck or I'll love it. It won't be in between. It's too too great of a filmmaker to have it be either terrible or wonderful. And it's been very split from what people hear, which tells you the filmmaker's doing something. Mm-hmm. He's risking. It's like me bombing. If I don't take a chance... I ain't gonna. I mean, I'll, I got a bomb. It comes with the uh, 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 territory. But I, I, you know, if I watch it, eh, I actually would like my performance, and it might make me sad. All right, I came to the truth. There you go. I discovered it while I'm sitting here. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna, you'll see him over the no, next I two. No, I won't weeks. watch them. Come on now. No, you have to. You and have by to. The way, you have to. One of the greatest lines that I ever came up with on Curb, that I gave to someone else. 
is coming up on this this Sunday. This Sunday. I know who the someone else is because I, I have seen it. Yeah. Well, by the way, you, I you can't since say the it. beginning have seen all of them. It, He's I'm, one of our test, our test, um, you know, uh, audience guys that Larry take because Larry respects the hell. That's I, why he's here. By the way, great interview with him. Thank you. Just it was so much fun with him. And well, by the way, it's one of the honors of my life no, is to be is, in this we, seat. We, we did your other one, you know, the one 900 years ago on the NFL Network. Yeah, right. With JB, myself, Larry, and Bob Einstein. And, and Bob Einstein, my brother. And by the way, losing Richard, you know, it wasn't a surprise because he was very ill and he would sit in you know, the golf cart or at the table when we're filming something. So it wasn't a surprise, but it tore the crap out of me. And I'm going to tell you something funny that he did. Please. This is a unique perspective. Hanging with Richard, since he's had Parkinson's, if someone comes up and tells him he looks good, he would do this, Parkinson's. In other words, <laughs> any compliment he get, he would cough Parkinson's. And I would lose it. And he loved when I thought something he did was that funny. And that's the last joke that I heard him. This is, uh, I don't want to, I can't talk about him. Got to stop. I hear I, you. But I miss him. Yeah. I hear you. So, I, I 10 is so complex, it's like a Rubik's Cube. The finale. And, have, yeah, and, the and you finale. haven't seen it, okay? Now, when I get the outline for it, mm -hmm. at the beginning, I'm going, what, we, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? This is just so dumb. Mm -hmm. Why is he doing this? And then you go, oh, my God, That's this right. is brilliant. It is. Like, you, you, it was amazing to see that. And then when we did it, it was just... Yeah, but no one was sentimental on set. None of us started crying. Well, isn't oh, that hold what... on. I have to admit something else. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so yes, I'm not sentimental about it, but last day of filming, last scene ever of the show, and uh, Jeff Schaefer comes out and says, that's a wrap on the greatest sitcom of all time. One of the greatest, if you ask me. I can't judge it. You know, I don't watch it like you do, but I can say it is a great one. And I began bawling. Unconsolable, inconsolable. I, I, I just remembered that now. So we're doing the scene. I'm inconsolable. Every one of Ted Dance and Cheryl, like everybody comes up to me, puts their hand on my shoulder. Richard. And Larry didn't know about it. And I'm all a mess and I'm walking back to my trailer. I see young Kim coming back to just pat me on the back, you know, say, I know, pal. Because now I'm getting some sentimental out here. It's a bunch of crap. Point being is, as I told you, from the very first second, I'm there with him till now. It's fucked up. Yeah, you're, no. <laughs> but I'm happy. I, I swear that, I am. No, no, it's I'm happy. grateful mm -hmm. and I'm happy and I've got some things coming up that I'm really happy about. And I will always be creative and I'll always, and I'm doing that podcast with Susie. The uh, History of Curb Your Enthusiasm. With Susie Essman. With Susie Essman. And we've had Larry on. The point being is, I, I, I have to watch all these again, which it doesn't bring me joy. Um, Come on, no, man. No, by the way, I look at a scene, and I can think what I had from craft service during that scene. <laughs> and by the way, if you think I'm kidding, just watch old episodes with you, with me, and I will tell you. And what I watched recently on our thing, I remember we had originally our caterer, eh, and I, he, made, he made what I essentially called tuna soup was there was so much mayonnaise that the tuna would float around. <laughs> and by the way, that might be the slightest exaggeration. Anyhow, uh, um, I saw a scene, I'm like, oh, tuna soup day. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.